All right, so I'm just on my way home and I just got out of the uh, screening for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part de Out of the Shadows. And I was going in with a kernel of optimism, seeing as uh, some of the advanced reviews that I've been reading are were saying that it was better than the first film. Granted, uh, that's not saying a hell of a lot. Um, but I will say this, that film that I saw tonight is kind of a big bloated train wreck. Um, and I say that, you know, from the perspective of you know, being a Ninja Turtles fan for a long time. I mean, I'm, I don't profess to be a diehard in any way, uh, but I've always enjoyed the comic books. I've enjoyed the animated series back in the day. Um, something needs to be said about, again, the physical look of the turtles. I don't know how uh, a modern, lavishly scaled, big budget Hollywood film could so completely botch the physical look of the turtles as badly as these films do <laughs> and I think if I was running the show I would certainly harken back to the original comic books and make the turtles more pint-sized and small especially considering that you have limitless resources of computer-generated uh, technology at your disposal make them more make them smaller because quite frankly, they are so big and they are so massive and they're so monstrous in these films. It rarely, there's rarely any tension in them. There, there is rarely a moment in these films where you gain any type of sense that these characters are in danger in any way. And plus they don't feel, they don't re look and feel like teenagers. Aside from the fact that they kind of talk in a teenage vernacular at times, they just don't feel like teenagers at all. So just from a design standpoint, much like the first film, the turtles are just a disaster. Uh, another big problem is this film, a lot like the first Ninja Turtle movie, it really has absolutely no idea what to do with Shredder as a villain. I mean, you can go back to the 1990 live action film, the very, very first one. Now that film isn't perfect, but it really understood the core mythology and the relationship between uh, Shredder, Oroko, Saki, I think his name was, and Splinter, and the Turtles, and how they sort of intertwine together. Uh, these films, it's completely and utterly lost on so many fundamental levels. And then the film shoehorns in Krang, and it just, it comes from completely out of left field. It, it's such a, a blatantly obvious attempt at pathetic fan servicing. I mean, that could have been held back for, for like say future installments, but they're just cramming the film in with so much stuff. They got Bebop and Rocksteady. Again, I understand the necessity of throwing them in. They just don't work. Uh, and something really has to be said about Casey Jones because Stephen Emil is an actor that I do actually kind of admire. And I really like his work on Arrow. I think he's really matured uh, as an actor in that show, even though I haven't particularly liked the last two seasons of that show. He is a, just a complete uh, misfire on all cylinders as Casey Jones. And the overall handling of the character, is it just feels wrong. Um, again, I look back to the 1990 original and the way uh, they portray Casey Jones, which I thought was pretty letter perfect in most respects. This film just this film just has no clue what to do with this mythology at all. It's so utterly shocking that, you know, even like, 26 years after the first live action turtle film Hollywood still really has no keen or shrewd understanding in terms of how to make a really good Ninja Turtles film um, the personalities are there in the film uh, I like the personality of the turtles it's just everything built around the movie just fails miserably from a design perspective it's attempts at cheap and pure all humor uh the dialogue is atrocious uh for a film that's like a, a like an hour and 30 minutes it feels like it's two hours um i don't know i think it was it was crushingly disappointing which is really odd to say because i didn't really like the first film very much and i guess i kind of went in with expectations as you couldn't really sink the ship any lower but i don't know i just think um 
I'm not sure if they're going to course correct this series or not. If it makes tons of money, they're going to go forward with a third one. But I don't know. I thought the film was a... I thought it was a raging stinker. So it, it really disappoints me because I am a Turtles fan. So Anyway, that's it. I'm almost home. So bye-bye.